Okay. Go. What is up, guys? Welcome back to part two Dos. of the ultimate foodie UK trip. Seven stars in four days, and we are currently location three. Location three in this year. Mm -hmm. Voted by multiple guys the oh. UK's best restaurant. We are beyond excited tonight aren't we? Beyond excited. Yeah and if you've not already watched our last video oh, you, need to watch you, that. You, you just need to catch up you just need to be like on our level to see what we've experienced the last couple of days yeah. and we're beyond excited like that says so much doesn't it? Oh yeah so I've been to 32 courses really protein led um but yeah in a sea our send of absolute fucking yeah, it's so beautiful here though stunning it's so gorgeous Gareth Ward the head chef here um, trained under people like Sat Baines, restaurant Sat Baines in Nottingham. Um, he came out here into the absolute middle of nowhere, serves the absolute best produce possible. You say 32 courses, it's all like creme de la creme produce, yeah. like the best beef you could possibly get, best tuna you could possibly get, blah, blah. They dry age a load of it in house and he just serves it relatively simply yeah. and puts it on a plate and goes, have that, it's mint. We're ready to fucking go. Let's eat. O O T D night three. We yeah. Are we are ready to eat. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Be the best sushi I've ever eaten. Right? <laughs> you in your element? I've never tasted that one. My biggest check. So, things Kate loves in life caviar, sweet bread, ranch sauce. Ranch. It's, a truffle ra it's a truffle ranch sauce, by the way. That's a combo of everything you love. One of the best things we've ever eaten. It's not even chocolate. Nah, because it's not. It's not. It's not chocolate. How can you say that? Beat me alone. We're having camera issues, not sure what's going on. Ho hopefully this is actually visible. No. Hang up. Hang up. I'm not sure what's going on anymore. This is the tastiest food I've ever eaten. <laughs> Kate's already had some, said it changed the life. 
Nah, that's everything that a Big Mac is, but then just A5 Wagyu. So obviously a million times better. Banana ice cream, caviar, and syrup. Leave me alone. Same face every time. And that face is Wowzer. How many of these dishes would you describe as better than sex? All of them with you. Good morning guys. I have no voice. <coughs> Kate is gradually becoming more ill on the back of yes. our wedding, I would assume. But anyway, in this here. Unbelievable Jeff. The room is stunning. Proper like on brand. Yeah, like, the bed's really amazing. Absolutely, just one of the comfiest beds I think I've slept in. <laughs> I was out cold, literally. Um, the staff, and staff were amazing. Word on the street was no get breakfast. No breakfast at Innisir. And, and yeah, delivery. Delivered to our room. I got a. I mean, it's basically a. It's, it's basically a McMuffin. It's a McMuffin. Bacon, mac and cheese, is. McMuffin. But I bet and it you, smells unbelievable. Otherwise, we'll be on the we'll road soon. And we're going to location time number time. four, the final stop. I don't know what. I don't know if anything can top tonight. It's uh, pretty, that was like, last night was pretty much the best meal it of my was. life. Even just like the best night, like the vibes, unbelievable. Jeff. Where we were sat, like couldn't it recommend ridiculous. it more. Oh, we were at the pass. We didn't even really mention that. But that's why you were getting good angles of the b-roll. Um, but yeah, it was unbelievable, Jeff. Um, and would recommend to anyone. Probably the foodie experience of a lifetime. Yeah. Welcome back. We are at our next location. Final stop. Oh my goodness. And I Emotional. Think we're in for a bit of a treat. This seems to be a complete cross between Le Manoir, stop number two. Yeah. Previous video. Not watched it, go back and watch it yeah. for the second yeah. time. And in a sea. Yeah. Where like it's a smaller than the Manoir, it doesn't seem like it's quite as like as much of like an institution and quite as fancy yeah but they try and do a lot of like the self-sustainability yeah, stuff the gardens are gorgeous yeah and we're lucky because the sun's shining they also do cake and tea time between so three and five for so we're going to get some afternoon tea and then we've got dinner tonight snacks start at 6 30. we love a snack unbelievable and our room's gorgeous lovely big bath we'll again. overlay a little bit of the room stuff yeah. right now um, yeah, we've got yeah, high hopes. Hope. Real high hopes. I think it's going to be a lovely way to end the trip. I'll tell you a little bit, bit about Moorhall while we're here. I'm set up by Mark Birchall, who trained under Simon Rogan. It's a long claim. I already saw him. Um, and yeah, he set this place up. Sustainability was a massive thing. He always wanted like big grounds and gardens and wanted as much, grow as much of their produce as possible. Um, food style's quite light. I believe really. Um, almost aggressively British and hyper seasonal and, and local. So Kate's not getting a chocolate dessert because that's not British. Uh, Sam Rogan's the same, no chocolate because chocolate's not a British ingredient. You can't grow chocolate in the UK. Anyway, um, they've got the two mission style restaurant, Moor Hall, and then they've got the barn, which is their more casual place, literally just next door, which yeah. is a one mission style restaurant. Uh, they've also got the Michelin green style, which means that they are highly sustainable, etc. And yeah, it seems like they they have it down yep. a little bit like the memoir they know what they're doing when it comes to the hospitality stuff mm -hmm. the rooms the service the food which we'll comment on later yeah but we're very excited let's go and get some cake catch you in a bizzle a cheeky little afternoon tea you can't complain we've got a sweet and a savory we're gonna do half and half obviously we've got a pork terrine with pistachio i want to say with a piccalilli which i love piccalilli and then a brown butter tart it's good and tea i've gone from earl grey jay's just gone for a fresh mint do love a homemade piccalilli so we've got pork and pistachio pie with homemade piccalilli mm. 
brown sugar custard jar with candied orange. Oh my god, this is going to be so good. I can already tell. Mm. Mm. That orange is really powerful, but that custard tart, oh my god. Time to eat. So Nick. naturally we have a OOTD final night of the mini moon. We've run a little bit more cash tonight. Okay, as Kate cut out, she was saying we've gone a bit more casual, we've expired. I'm also just out of clothes and I've lost one of my pairs of shoes. I think I've left it in this here along with my wedding ring. in there with some some caviar chicken jelly i think a bit of cod's row is that right mm -hmm. and then we've got a little cracker here to spread it on get that caviar right on there oh my goodness i just did mm. i'm really good Day dry aged sirloin of beef tartar. Signature, signature dish. We love beef tartar. If there's anything we're fussy about, it's tartar. That's unbelievable. She wasn't reacting. I was like, is it bang average? That's unbelievable. Really good. Oh, best tartar brilliant. ever. The acid, unreal. We're quite confident that this sauce is going to be a sauce, like a saucy sauce sauce. So we've got monkfish, we've got courgette, texture courgette, there's a shrimp mousse in between some of the courgette. <laughs> sauce. I know I'm obliged to say this uh, contractually, but genuinely, this is the nicest sauce I've ever tasted. Oh, Absolutely it. awesome. um, right. I believe so, yeah. Should be on the screen if it is. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we've got some beautiful lamb here. Need to get that fat. Is there a little bit of, is that a crispy sweet bread, Catherine? Yeah. Oh, unbelievable, Jeff. Go on then. A bit of puree. Oh, yeah. oh another one. Mm. Final dessert, apple, woodruff. Oh yeah. That looks so good. Mm. Oh my god. It's like tart to fam. Yum. Happy? Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, so with hot drinks we serve some petty We love that. We get very upset if we don't get petty balls. Oh, we've got cake. Absolute spread as well. We just got one of each because, I mean, why wouldn't you? Most, you people, that, I mean? most people that have a mineral spread. I feel spread. like I'm going to go in with this one first. It's a pumpkin seed 
white chocolate or it's chill. Mm. Mm. Right. Mm. Oh, banger. That's a banger. Oh my god, that's so good. Good morning, folks. Good morning. A little debrief from last night. Really, really good. Banger. Final night. Finished on the high, didn't we? Oh, 100%. Especially with the petty fours. Oh, the petty fours. <laughs> Service was the slickest of the whole Very trip, probably. Server. It was like a military operation. Yeah, just like everyone knew exactly what in, they were doing. Out, Very in tag teaming. Yeah, yeah. It was almost like a dance. It Do you know that way it where was, it's it like performance. choreographed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it, was it was that really good a service that you would not know, notice it in the slightest unless you're paying attention. Yeah. So like I like watching that sort of thing. Yeah. So I was like paying attention to it, but if you're not. You don't notice anything. Mm. It was it was top draw. Yeah. Food was incredible. Very good. Um, and very, it's very now good. breakfast time. Breakfast time. So we'll take you morning, yeah, take you amongst that. Then. We'll have a little wander after breakfast as well. And then it's time to go home. Then it is back to reality. <laughs> Guys, we've got chocolate spread on the table. Oh, it's quite firm. I think I should taste it. Okay. Do some. Mm. Get a little bit of ASMR on the croissant, shall we? So, got some lovely uh, salmon and rye bread and sour cream, but then couldn't not order. Could not, not a bit of caviar. Kate, we didn't really talk about the dishes from last night. What was your favourite dish? Probably the scallop. Oh, the scallop was phenomenal. The desserts were great. There was like an apple. Was it apple mudroff? And marigold. And marigold. I kept mentioning the marigold. Mm. Kate was like, no, there's no marigold. I was like, the fucking is. Yeah, that was amazing. That was really good. Unexpectedly bread. good. We got an extra bread. And we got two two breads, of course. Um, what else? Petty fours. The spread of petty fours. Petty, petty fours was phenomenal. The lamb was stunning. The lamb was with the brioche. With the um, onion brioche. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. I think mine would be the scallop, the lamb, and the apple. So very similar yeah. to yourself. Yeah. Very similar to yourself. Top draw cooking. It's a top meal. Top, top meal. Now, top talk, talk me through some salmon and caviar. Mm. You only get married once, eh? Banger. Oh. And just like that, the mini moon. It's all over. It's over. Just a four hour drive to go now, home. Yeah. I have to say, every single place we've stayed, every single one is worth a trip mm -hmm. to stay and eat. The experience of staying and yeah. eating at yeah. every single one is unbelievable. It's been one hell of a week. Can we hand, should we hand out some awards? Okay. I've already got them in my head, so I'm just gonna tell okay. you what they are. Okay, okay. Sure. The award for best value experience goes to. Uh, the angel head. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. The award for the best food and the best meal goes to Inseer. Inseer. Has to. Has to. The award for incredible hospitality. Le Manoir. Le Manoir. Yeah. The award for all round experience and service. More. More. Yeah. It's. But every single one of them mm. wins on all of those fronts. Yeah. It's just like that each of those was the pinnacle. Yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty sensational. And final award, Angel at Hetton, biggest surprise. I was gonna say, that probably still stands out for me as the best, not the best food, because you can't, what we had in the experience we had at Insea, like you just can't. Can't beat that. I can't even it's the like. the best food in the UK. Yeah, like I know we've got it on camera, and I know we've like filmed it, but like even just like articulating. You can't articulate how that, good that food is. It's like, just the, the bites but in terms of like a meal like the, in terms the, of the dishes angel but and in terms of expectations exceeded yeah like there's always something right so in a series one like on from multiple guides the best restaurant in the uk 
and so many people have told us it's like the experience of a lifetime, like just gonna blow your mind, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. So you go and you're like, well, yeah, it's fucking unbelievable. Yeah. But it's like, did it exceed expectations? Yes, I would say it, even with those yeah. lofty heights, it slightly yeah. exceeded expectations. Yeah. Whereas Angel Hut and you're like, it's a pub in North York. It was yeah. also a bit of like a, a bit of a wild card for us to book. We've heard great things. We I heard. have heard people yeah. say amazing things. Yeah. I've heard people say it should have two stars. Yeah. I should reckon, have two stars. I reckon that could be on the cards for it, 100%. It, we had four meals. Even just the fact them. that they're extending the rooms, yeah. they're clearly doing like putting a lot of money into it as well. Yeah. So We had four meals. Three of them were two Mission Star restaurants. Angel at Head does not sit below them on the standard of things. <laughs> I'd say we had two, three Michelin star meals potentially in yeah. a seer in Moor Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say Le Manoir, I can see why it's two, not three. Yeah. But the rest of the hospitality, unbelievable Jeff and the most beautiful place I've ever been to stay and the best room I've ever stayed in. Yeah. And then Angel Hatton's a two star, in my opinion. Yeah. Anyway, I think we should probably stop rambling. No. If you Hopefully still you enjoyed. Us. Thanks for joining us on our mini moon. I'm so glad we've got it for the men's. <sighs> Even if no one watches, watches yeah, this YouTube Yeah, we will. Video, Every first we'll anniversary. We'll be we'll like, back on you know? YouTube being like, oh yeah, do you remember that? We'll remember watch that? our wedding video and then we'll watch our mini moon vlogs and be like, we fucking lived, didn't we? had we? a great time. <laughs> we'll show the kids one day. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you enjoyed these videos, don't forget to like them. Both of them. Yeah. If you've not liked the last one, go back to that one and like it and like this one. Yeah. Subscribe because we've got loads of amazing stuff coming. Yeah, we have actually. We're um, now... I hate to say it, now the wedding's done. Not that I'm sad it's over, but it's certainly going to free up a lot more headspace for me. <laughs> what, in Paris for Kate's 30th? Just throwing yeah. that out there. If you want a Paris guide, that's coming. Yeah. Coming in December. And the list of Edinburgh places that we need to hit is extensive. It's so. still 40 places plus. Yeah. So amazing Edinburgh content coming, amazing foodie content in general coming. Keep the recommendations coming, keep the requests coming. Keep telling us whether you're Team Kate or Team Jake. And uh, yeah, have an amazing day, guys. Catch you on our next video.